We are all aboard the hype train for the Poco F2 Pro launch. And as lockdowns are starting to lift worldwide, it looks like we're actually gonna get the launch of this product very, very soon. But today we got some more official promos and some teasers and some information about the phone. Firstly, we got some promos and teasers from an online retailer that should be selling the device when it does launch. And it shows us some of the designs of the Poco F2 Pro and also some of the ways that they're gonna promote the specs and gives us a look at the design. Not that we needed any confirmation. This also confirmed in these images is the K30 Pro from Redmi, rebranded as the Poco F2 Pro. A key difference though between the Poco F2 Pro and the Redmi K30 Pro is the network bands that will be supported in each of the phones. The Redmi K30 Pro, because it's really a China only phone, it will not have some of the bands that you need to use the phone, especially in Europe and America. And the Poco F2 Pro is the international version. It will be launching worldwide. And that's really important to know. If you do buy a Redmi K30 Pro online, because it usually is cheaper, it doesn't have those network bands and you can run into a lot of problems. So the Poco F2 Pro, even though it is gonna be more expensive, may be a better bet for actually the one to buy. And it's more expensive because it has that extra band capability and also import taxes and duties, etc., will make it a bit more expensive. But it's better than having the cheaper phone that maybe is gonna run into problems down the line with network connectivity. As I mentioned yesterday, the Poco F2 Pro may be coming around about $650, $700, depending on the variant. The leaked prices do suggest this, although these aren't confirmed or official prices yet, so we don't really know. This is just a guide. The Redmi K30 Pro coming for $450 US dollars. So yeah, definitely the Redmi K30 Pro is a lot cheaper, but it's a China-only variant, and the Poco F2 Pro is gonna have all the Google support, for sure, and also the network bands, so maybe a better option. The product page on this retailer also gives us some information about the Poco F2 Pro. It looks like, according to this retailer anyway, that it's coming with a six gigabyte and an eight gigabyte variant. And actually when the K30 Pro launched, those two phones are slightly different. It's not just that one has slightly less RAM than the other. The six gigabyte variant actually has some cheaper internals, some cheaper and older internals. For example, the RAM actual is different. It is a slightly older, slower RAM than what you get in the eight gigabyte variant. But the six gigabyte variant did come at a much lower price overall than even the eight gigabyte variant. And I hope that that will be the same for the Poco F2 Pro coming at a really, really good low price, at least for that base model. So yes, the Redmi K30 Pro coming worldwide as the Poco F2 Pro in India, it will still come as the Redmi K30 Pro, which means there is some debate right now as to if the Poco F2 Pro is gonna come to India. And if there is a Poco F2 Pro, well, there's a Pro variant, so that must mean that there's a non-Pro variant, a Poco F2. Will this be a rebranded phone from Xiaomi again? Well, the Redmi K30 non-Pro variant has already been rebranded in India as the Poco X2. So things are getting confusing, but definitely if there's a Poco F2 Pro, there should also be a non-Pro. We'll have to see if it's gonna be a rebranded phone from Xiaomi or Redmi, or if it may just be a different phone in the mix with a different setup, different processor, maybe a different screen. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I'll definitely keep you updated if any information is available. And that's your Poco F2 information for today, but have a look at this phone leaked online today from Lenovo. An absolute hulk of a phone, a beast, a monster. This has literally the top specs of any phone. It is absolutely insane. So this thing, according to the leaks, has a 144 hertz refresh rate display. That is just not gonna get beaten by anything. That's the same as gaming monitors. And I assume it's an OLED display considering this will be that sort of device. A flagship processor, of course, the Snapdragon 865, but get this also, 90 watt fast charging on this phone. There's two cameras on the back, but they're actually placed in the middle of the phone, not in the middle at the top, literally just in the middle of the phone. Also, the selfie camera is somewhere where I've never ever seen it before, also in the middle of the phone. Again, not at the top middle, literally in the middle of the phone. You'd have to turn it maybe landscape mode to take a selfie. 
It will not sell that many units just because of how insane it is, but it does give us a look to what smartphones will be bringing us in the future. So very, very cool to see phones like this and phones like the Poco F2 and the Redmi K30 Pro being those flagship killers will adopt these technologies in a few years time when they get cheap enough. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.